It looks like the Google DeepMind team has finally released a big new upgrade to the Gemini CLI, making it one of the best command line tools that's out there, while being completely free with access to state-of-the-art models like Gemini 2.5 Pro. But just a day ago, the Gemini team had introduced a branch of new features that upgrade the CLI's capabilities drastically, from adding a new AI extension marketplace, the context files, the custom commands, and these commands can actually teach Gemini how to use any tool as Gemini lacks the ability with tool calling compared to other models. But there's so much more to this, which is why we're going to be diving straight into all of these features. But for those who do not know what Gemini CLI is, it's a powerful command line interface that lets developers interact directly with Gemini models like Gemini 2.5 Pro for coding, automation, debugging, and AI-assisted workflows. It's completely free to use up to a thousand requests per day, which is a lot, and it makes it one of the most accessible and capable AI CLIs available today that's free. To start off, we have one of the biggest features, which is the introduction of the Gemini CLI extension. This is a brand new framework that lets you fully customize the Gemini CLI and connect it to your favorite tools, all from the command line. This means no more context switching between apps or services. You can now bring your entire workflow into Gemini and use your go-to tools seamlessly with the same terminal environment. Just simply use the Gemini extension install command and then add your GitHub URL or local path to your command line. And you can install any extension from Gemini CLI's open ecosystem. And this open ecosystem contains the top tier integrations from different payment providers to various sorts of database handlers. You have a lot of different options that you can work with and integrate with the Gemini CLI. At its core, the autonomy of the Gemini CLI extension is designed for simplicity and power. Each extension bundles together MCPs, context files, as well as custom commands into a lightweight package that teaches Gemini how to use any tool from local scripts to external APIs. The workflow is pretty incredible and it's super straightforward. You can install extensions directly from any GitHub URL or local folder. You can use extensions instantly to supercharge the CLI experience, and you can even manage extensions effortlessly, keeping your setup clean and flexible. You also have the ability to build your own Gemini CLI extension, where you can start a pre-built template for common use cases or create one from scratch for complete customization. There's also a larger list of public repositories created by third-party developers with different capabilities, and you can access these extensions from the Gemini CLI extension store. You can simply install any of these to enhance the CLI capability. For example, the Nano Banana one, you can click on this, and if you are to head over to this, you can then get the script and implement it to the Gemini CLI with the following install command. And after installing this Nano Banana extension, you can have it so that it could basically generate any sort of images which will be directly generated with the Gemini CLI, all directly within your terminal. And afterwards, you can generate anything related to ImageGen with this extension enabled. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Let's take a look at this demo where the Gemini CLI has integrated the Postman extension. where you can instantly scaffold a request collection for your application right from the command line. You're streamlining API testing and the development like never before, because you can directly access all of these things within your terminal, which is gonna expedite the process of any task. Now in July, if you remember, they had introduced custom slash commands within Gemini CLI. It's a feature that allows developers to define reusable prompts that can streamline repetitive interactions and make your workflow drastically more efficient. Ever since then, they have been drastically improving the quality of how you can create custom slash commands to do almost anything, whether that is invoking the new extensions that was just released, as well as having AI agents turn different complex instructions into simple one-line commands that can transform how you use Gemini CLI. And it can drastically improve speed, consistency, as well as productivity. Because with this new custom slash command, 
you can better instruct the Gemini agents to follow your rules so that it could use the tools properly. Because we all know Gemini tends to lack the ability to follow with tool calling. And this is a way for it to counter that. What's also cool is that they have now finally introduced a docs where it is going to talk about almost every feature thoroughly. So if you're interested in getting started with the CLI, you can read through the docs, which will give you a better understanding as to how you can get started and how you can use its features to the maximum limit. And there is a lot of different smaller changes that have been introduced. This is the change log, which showcases all the bug fixes, all their minor edits that they have implemented over the last couple of weeks. These are just edits over the past couple of hours, but you can see how much they have been modifying the Gemini CLI to refine it to make it one of the best terminal agents available. But to get started with this Gemini CLI, it's super simple. And remember, it is completely free. What you'll need to do is use the npm install command. Just make sure you have node.js 18 or above installed on your computer beforehand. Then you can simply go ahead and open up your command prompt and then simply just paste in this npm install command within that terminal. And this will install all the packages to have Gemini CLI functional on your computer. And then you can start up the Gemini CLI using the Gemini command. And then you can just authenticate it with your Google account, which you can do completely for free. But now you can easily start working with new upgraded Gemini CLI. You can see that you have the ability to access the Gemini 2.5 Pro. But if you now click on slash extensions, this is where you're going to be able to manage and list out all the different extensions you have. Currently, we have zero because we haven't installed any. But you can also see there's a lot of new commands that they have added. And this is essentially going to help you work with the CLI a bit better with different tools, different plugins, and different features that can enhance your ability to use the CLI better. But now let's actually go ahead and install one extension to showcase what you can do with it. For example, the Chrome DevTools MCP, you can simply copy the install command that you can paste into a new terminal and you can simply go ahead and install this extension. This is a Chrome DevTools MCP that is going to be able to help you thoroughly use AI agents within the Chrome browser. And you can see the extension has been successfully installed and enabled. Now we can go back into the Gemini terminal. Now what we can do is within a brand new Gemini terminal, we can simply go ahead and use the extension uh, command and you're going to be able to list all the active extensions you have. So you can see right now that Chrome DevTools MCP is working and it is active. And you can see that it is actually using one MCP right now. And you can actually take a look at it using the control T uh, command and it will give you a command list of all the different things that you can do with this MCP, all the different tools like listing, opening files, clicking, opening a new page. For example, I had told it to navigate to this web page URL of my channel and it was able to open it up within a new Chrome extension. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But there's a lot more to this, so I highly recommend that you take a look at the docs so you get a better idea of all the new features further in detail. But I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. Make sure you go ahead and take a look at the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.